guys, this is Livio here from Hazard Rebuilds and today we're going to continue on the rear end. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to push out this part of the rear right side even more. Hopefully take out this uh, kink in the quarter panel. There goes the tripod. Um, take out the kink in the quarter panel. Hopefully take out the dance and uh, push this rear side even more out but before we do all that we're gonna have to take out this metal sheet right here one of the many layers of the rear end in the trunk to release some tension so we could pull out this side easier and before we do all that we got to take out all the brackets out so let's get to it drill into them without my drill bit running away from me. It is a very big struggle when a drill bit runs away from you. So that is why I have decided, like many other people, to center punch my holes first before drilling them out. Yes, it is double the work, but it is double the fun and double the less effort uh, when the drill bit runs away because center punch them stops it from running away so you won't be sad when you are left without a drill guys so what you can see we got that little rear piece out so now I will take this this piece out and this piece and uh, we're gonna unbolt this un, uh, unweld this so we could grab a hold of the frame and uh, pull it out 
So now what we gotta do is we gotta unweld all this. So all of these, all of these spots, untie from this side of the core pen, and we also measure the trunk. Um, the gaps are almost there. This part is good. We know that because this part wasn't affected. But we double checked anyway. This part's good. And this part is actually pushed out. So we need to bring this part in till about here. All right. So first thing we're going to do, let's drill out this piece right here. Take these pieces off and this piece off first. Okay, guys. So I forgot to mention I used the impact bar to... Uh, measure the distance of to see how far the frame is off and it was only about quarter inch off not that much maybe it was off even less but yeah enjoy this clip of me cutting this rear piece out so yeah cue the music So now that we cut all these spot welds, we stop till here because I want to keep this piece in for now as a point of reference when we get the new piece. We're going to cut this piece along here for now so that way we can work on this frame over here. We're going to put this, pull this out as much as we can, try to get this kink out of the way. And um, once we get these new metals in, that's when we'll pull the frame to the exact right spot so that way that metal slides right in. And then we'll cut these out and put the new piece in also. So that way we don't have an ugly cut over here with uh, all this uh, welding and everything. So yeah, let's get to it. So I don't know what happened to the footage, but um, basically we took the car to the front and we tied it up to the house instead of the frame post, as you can see, because um, we decided to do it the Slavic way and not the right way, because we do have a frame post, but it's all the way in the back of the freaking shed, and by the time we get it, it'll be the next year because of all the stuff we have in our shed. So my dad decided to make a makeshift frame post 
and uh, tie it to the concrete of our house, like as you saw. And I mean, it's basically the same thing, because really we only need to pull one way, so I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's still gonna do the job of pulling the frame, because the car is secured, tied to a freaking tree in the house, so there's that. And all we need to do is just pull the frame literally one way, because it's not bent, nothing, it's just pushed in. So, yeah. What we did was tied it to the house and started wenching it out instead of digging five years for that frame post. And anyway, we would have to drill new holes in the driveway because um, the Mustang is set up a little bit differently than the previous car I had. So it was a little bit harder to use the frame post to pull out the frame. So yeah, enjoy this clip of us hammering, cutting. Well, actually, no cutting, but just hammering everything out and the winching everything out. Oh, and uh, by us hammering everything out and pulling, I mean my father, because you know, you ask your dad for help and he takes over. But whatever, at least less work for me, right? Um, yeah, and also, if you don't have the frame post secured right, uh, that chain will come flying towards you and cripple you. Because my uncle. He didn't secure the frame post good enough one time and that chain came and smacked his freaking foot and this man's was crippled for a, a few weeks, so it's not fun. Thank you and thank you for coming to my TED Talks. Well guys, now that my dad and I have straightened out the post, I mean... Mainly my dad because he knows more about this stuff and um, you know how dads are. They like taking over once you ask them for one thing of help, but it's okay. Anyway, now that we got the straight, <coughs> I mean the frame post straightened out. I mean it's mainly straight, which you got to work out a few kinks over here. That's nothing too bad to deal with. Just a little bit more playing around, but we measured the frame post each side. They're both the same. We measured the bottom. It's nice and flat now. Um, same as on this side. As you can see, everything is nice and flat, nice and straight. Inside, outside, everything is perfect. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna work on this corner, this quarter panel right here. Cause you can see here, it goes inside like this and then it sticks out like a bump over here. And over here, it's supposed to be a 90 degree angle, but it's more like a, I don't even know, messed up angle you could say because if you look on this side um it's there's an indent right here and the quarter panel is supposed to go inside right here not sticking out a bunch over here and the, as you can see the angle is supposed to look like this so what we're going to try to do now is uh straighten out this corner because what happened was i guess when the car got hit it got impacted over here and uh, what it did is it pushed like this top end out and brought it down and then also brought this part out as well so i'm hoping if we get this side back to where it's supposed to be it'll pop out this kink right here because it'll leave, relieve some stress on the quarter panel so with that information let's get to it Sorry guys, my camera keeps on overheating, so I'm gonna have to move it a little bit. That's why the footage might be interrupted because it's super hot outside right now. So I'm gonna try my best to put a, a better angle while keeping it out of the sun so it doesn't overheat as much. previous day it was too hot nice we got a guy cutting the lawn over here while i'm recording or blowing air i should say but anyway so it's another day here at the hazard rebuild channel um previous day it was too hot to record um so i had to stop recording because my phone kept on overheating and uh, three days more and it was still too hot it was like 100 degrees every single day so it was way too hot to work outside plus my phone kept on overheating but it's a cooler day today so now let's get back to, to fixing this quarter panel. Let's get to it.
All right, guys, so now that this lower quarter panel support piece is basically how it's supposed to be. So look on the inside, it's got a shape back. I mean, messed up shape, but still got a shape back. You can see the other side. That's how it's supposed to look like. Basically it looks like that, but beat up. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take out this piece so we could uh, weld in the new one once it comes and we're gonna work on this quarter panel this uh how this dance and um in the meantime while we do that we are gonna start start working on this uh quarter panel by removing it and taking out from the spare piece over there so yeah let's start getting this piece out and then uh we'll take it from there and just like that it's done all right so now that we got this tail lamp pocket out the way we're gonna hammer out the right side of the trunk well right here a little bit strain this part out get it ready for the new piece when it comes and the uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat it up to loosen the metal a little bit so we could uh bend bend it out easier so let's get to it So now we got this part all straightened out. It looks decent for now. Um, we're gonna get back to this once we get uh, these rear pieces in from the dealer. Should be coming in next week. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so for now, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna start uh, checking away at this quarter panel so we don't waste any time with the car. Right. So stay tuned for next video. Guys, please like, dislike if you disliked it comment uh follow the instagram i also started tiktok they didn't post nothing on tiktok yet but follow like subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video